Hey guys, hope you all doing well. As I promised in my last video, today, I'm here to bring you guys the ultimate FPS boost guide for PUBG, for low end PC and laptops. Before moving on, I wanted to mention some important facts with you guys. First of all, PUBG is not a low end PC game. It needs significantly high minimum requirements and specially a dedicated graphics card. But if you want to run this game, you only need a dual core CPU, 6 GB of RAM, and DirectX 11 support. But there is a huge difference in running the game, and playing the game. With above mentioned requirement, you can run the game, around 15 to 20 FPS. But is it a playable experience? No. Not at all. So, I hope you understand the difference between running the game, and actually playing the game. If you haven't watched my previous video regarding how PUBG run on its minimum requirements, make sure to check it out as well. Link in the description. With that out of the way, in this video, I will test out PUBG well below its minimum requirements, and optimizing it to get at least 60 FPS playable experience. As always I'm gonna test it on my 5 year old laptop, with Intel HD 620 graphics and dedicated NVIDIA graphics, and show you the exact results. Before moving on, if you like these type of content and still haven't subscribed, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, and help us reach 30k subs. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Alright guys, the laptop that I'm gonna test out today, is 5 years old at this point. Back in the day it could run some decent games, but not anymore. It has an Intel Core i5-7200U processor, with 2 cores and 4 threads. A GB of DDR4 RAM. And Intel HD 620 graphics, plus a dedicated NVIDIA GeForce 940MX graphics. It's not a very powerful GPU by any means, and performs similar to something like a GT740. So, it's quite low end. The full specs sheet will be available in the description. In the first part of the video, I'm gonna completely disable the NVIDIA graphics, and running the game on Intel HD graphics to see if it's actually playable. Then I will do some tweaks and optimization to see if it's perform any better. And also, PUBG is quite heavy on this dual core CPU. So, instead of recording using OBS, I will directly use my phone to show you guys the exact FPS number to get a better idea. So, please ignore to poor video quality there. First of all, there are a few steps that I mentioned in all of my optimization guides. Make sure you're running the latest version of Windows 10 or Windows 11 64-bit. Next, make sure you are running the latest version of your graphics drivers. If you are on Intel HD graphics, you can directly download the drivers from their website. Or you can do the same for NVIDIA and AMD drivers as well. Everything will be linked in the description. and also make sure to connect your power adapter while gaming. This will help you to run programs without power consumption limitations. Alright, now let's start with Ingham settings. Go to settings and graphics. Make sure you are running the game on full screen. The resolution should be set to 1280 by 720p which is the lowest you can go. In here the render scale should also be set to the lowest, which is 70. FOV should also be set to lowest, but it's a personal preference. Then the overall graphics quality should be set to very low. Then keep the rest of the settings as disabled. Now go to the gameplay tab and scroll down. In the replay section, make sure to disable replay and death cam. This will help you to clear some of the CPU usage. Now, let's close out the game and do some tweaks in the Windows settings. These steps will help you to clear up your RAM and helps you to run PUBG a bit smoother. But remember, you need minimum of 6 GB of RAM or higher. If you are on 4 GB RAM, it's gonna be real hard to run this. First, make sure to run Steam in light mode. This is extremely important. Because Steam can eat up significant amount of your system RAM while gaming. If you do not know, what is Steam light mode, or, how to enable it. I previously made a simple tutorial on this, and the benefits you can have. So, make sure to check it out at first. Link will be in the description. After that, open up game mode in Windows. In here make sure to disable Xbox Game Bar. But game mode should be set to on. Then open up Task Manager and close any unnecessary programs. Go to Startups and disable any unwanted programs booting up. Then if you are using Google Chrome, open up and go to Settings, Advanced, then System. Then make sure to disable Running Background Apps feature. 
Then go to Windows Power Plan, then Addition Power Options, and enable High Performance Mode. Now, let me show you the results. First, the game is running on Intel HD 620 graphics. With no optimizations I will get around 20 FPS, with lot of FPS drops and stutters. After the optimization I would get around 25 FPS. Which is still pretty bad, and unplayable. I also edit the config file and drop the resolution scale to 50%, but it won't make a difference. Editing the config file is not recommended, because it could get you banned permanently. So, the conclusion is, if you are on Intel HD graphics, it's not worth downloading, or try to play. Because simply the graphical power is not enough. Even though we did some tweaks, this won't make a much difference. The game is running on 20 FPS, but unplayable. So, in order to play, you definitely need an upgrade. But, if you have some kind of a dedicated graphics chip, or low-end GPU, like in my laptop, the results may surprise you. Alright, now I switch to dedicated NVIDIA graphics. And this is how it performs in default settings, on 1080p low preset. With no optimization, I will get around 25 FPS. But notice there is less stutters and FPS drops. Now I'm gonna apply all the settings and tweaks that I previously mentioned. Plus some additional tweaks in NVIDIA Control Panel. Right click and open up NVIDIA Control Panel. In here go to Adjust Image Settings with Preview. Then select the third option and make sure to set it to Performance, then Apply. After that, go to Manage 3D Settings. In here make sure to select High Performance NVIDIA Processor. Then down here, set these settings as follows. After that apply, and restart your system. There could be similar options for AMD graphics as well. But currently I don't have a system to test it out. Alright, as you guys can see. Now I'm running the game on very low preset on 720p, and I'm getting around 60 FPS with no stutters and FPS drops. Here's a side by side comparison, to get a better idea. Let's jump into a real match and see the FPS numbers. Well, as you can see, I'm easily getting around 60 plus FPS, sometimes close to 80, or even 100. Which is pretty insane, how low-end dedicated GPU can perform like this. Yes sometimes you get some FPS drops, especially in demanding areas. But the game is definitely playable, compared it to Intel HD graphics. But if you have something like an AMD Vega graphics, you'll definitely get better FPS. Well, that's pretty much it guys. I hope this video definitely helped you in getting better FPS in PUBG, especially if you have a some kind of a low-end dedicated graphics chip. And also if you are on integrated graphics, now you should have a better idea about how this game runs. If this video helpful, please make sure to drop a like and subscribe to stay up to date with more content. And it will also help us reach 30k subs. So, I will see you guys soon in my next video. Stay safe, and happy gaming.